continue on with this uh, journey with the children of Israel, listen to this word here. Then the whole community of Israel set out from Elam and journeyed into the wilderness of sin between Elam and Mount Sinai. They arrived there on the 15th day of the second month, one month after leaving the land of Egypt. There too, the whole community of Israel complained about Moses and Aaron. So we, obviously, if you know the story, you know there's this theme that just continues about complaining. I don't want to dwell there, but I just want to challenge you today. Quit complaining. Come on, man. (laughs) Doesn't do any good. Represent Christ and don't complain. Let's keep reading, though. If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they moaned. There we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now you've brought us into this wilderness to starve us all to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, look, I'm going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day the people can go out and pick up as much food as they need for that day. I will test them in this to see whether or not they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they will gather food. And when they prepare it, there will be twice as much as usual. So Moses and Aaron said to all the people of Israel, by evening, you will realize it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So I'm going to pause there and think about this. By evening, you're going to know. So I don't mean the sliding against Moses and Aaron. I'm talking about the children of Israel and the fact of how quick we forget things and thinking about the fact that it was through the 10 plagues that God delivered them. God had provided a way for them to get out. Not only that, but they had already walked across the dry land. Not only that, God had already turned bitter water into sweet water so they could drink it. Now, another answer to their complaining. They're going to know today God did it. How many times do we need to be reminded about all that God has done for us? Why is it that we so quickly turn to complaining in our current situation when God has been so faithful in our past? Church, please understand who God is, what he's doing, and trust him. If you notice today in the, in the scripture reading, it's not that God said, I'm going to give you a storehouse full of food. He said, I'm going to give you every day what you need. God will take care of you. Let's trust him together in this church.